Thank you, bodybuilding, for giving me a passion, a journey to embark on, and an adventure to explore. For you saved me in my darkest hour and told me that even if everything else seems uncertain, there is one thing you can still control that is your own body. You said, This is not a sport of comparison for vanity and social credit, but one of virtuous qualities of self acceptance, self improvement, self discipline, confidence, and integral pride. You gifted me a vision as if a sculptor hammering a vessel to perfection. Which does not exist, but he tries to touch the ceiling nevertheless. I was determined to transform, to be the embodiment of the spirit of change, bringing order to my chaotic life. I did not give you up, despite getting sick, locked in a room, losing everything I worked for, and failing time after time. Because you said, the one who does not yield and keeps going is the champion of the spirit of life. You gave me the wisdom to work not only hard but smart by understanding my body through the systematic lens of biology without neglecting the philosophical martial arts of the mind. You encapsulated morals of life through metaphors, movement, and stillness. You taught me to have method in my madness, to not confuse your mentality of pushing one's limit with your biological limit. For that is a fine line where you thrive or die. In flirting with such a line, I have become stronger for what did not kill me, but I have also self destructed in a brutal suffering in attempts to chase that elusive, euphoric bliss if I conquered that extra two reps. For the many times my sculpture took the damage, I was lucky to recover. Thank you for making me dig deep to search for the light. Of a positive masculine force that calls for courageous adventure at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for showing me, after five years, that this is a marathon, not a sprint. A journey with no end, a standard superior to man, maybe for a sovereign cause. Thank you for showing me that hard work pays off. Your spirit will always be a light I look up to in the darkest times to come.